yo, I just applied for this overseas position with an agency. I won't say which one. There are lots of them. So, yo, man, thanks for tuning in to another ep of C4CW, Casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide. Man, you ever, like, uh, you ever, like, get that notification from, like, Twitter, and it's, like, such and such followed you back, and then you get that feeling, like, wait a second, hold up, wait a second, hold up, wait a second, i.e., wait a minute. I never followed this nigga in the first place. Like, what the fuck? You ever get that fucking feeling, dog? Shit is weird. The internet be doing kind of like its own thing sometimes, man. LinkedIn, too. You know what I'm saying? You're like, hold the fuck up. This shit is weird. The internet is like AI. The whole shit is like a fucking supercomputer. But anyway, I'm just asking. But yeah, man, I've been thinking about Shostakovich quite a bit, man. Shostakovich. I'm like, what? Why am I even thinking about this dude? Man, because I guess I just am. So we got to research Shostakovich. <laughs> got to look him up, man. Look up this. Uh, we're going to see here how um, Google's going to handle this. We're going to see. Because imagine someone like, imagine like a non-native speaker of English trying to search for said musical composer. All right. Here we go. Shostakovich. According to Wikipedia, Dmitry Dmitrievich Shostakovich was a Russian composer and pianist. Pianist and a pianist. Dmitri. All right, hold on. Hold up. Was a Russian composer and pian- pianist. He is regarded as, according to Wiki, he is regarded as one of the major composers of the 20th century. Why am I thinking about this dude today? Like, why? What is it? Why, why now? I mean, I have been for like a month. I'm like, what? This is weird. The world's fucking weird. He's got an interesting kind of, like, countenance. His countenance is interesting. He, uh, you know, something else that I'm kind of, uh, I guess, I guess I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm just kind of like doing this whole, like, remote viewing thing. Something else that I'm kind of, like, moved, I guess. I'm kind of moved to talk about is, um, let me see. Let's look this up. Let's check it out. Chess player claims that he played with aliens. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. World chess president claims he was abducted by space aliens. This is 2015. You might be like, yo, that's crazy. But then when you read it, you're like, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. It says right here, HuffPost. Quote, it came in a flying saucer. I mean, they always do. It's usually like a saucer, a pot, or cigar-shaped craft, right? So, of course, it's a fucking flying saucer. Pick me up, and I spent a whole day in outer space. Word. This is by Lee Spiegel. I'm just going to read the headline. I'm not, I'm not going to read the article. That's on Huff Post. Y'all, shout-outs to Huffington Post. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm not a liberal, So, but I read HuffPost because she used to be conservative and fucking decided that she wanted to be a liberal for some reason, which is whatever, dude. I'm disappointed, but I still read HuffPost here and there. She has some interesting articles and you're probably like, bro, who are you talking about? I'm talking about the person who used to be a Republican conservative and then she decided with the Huffington Post to be on some, what the fuck is this helium balloon doing flying in front of, that was weird. Anyway, um... Just out of nowhere, there's just a goddamn fucking helium balloon in the middle of a fucking rainstorm in front of cars. And I'm just like, weird. And it was gold. That was weird, too. Um, But anyway, yeah, the name looks like Kirson, uh, not not the conservative who 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 turned 
rep, um, uh, liberal is what I meant to say. Uh, I'm talking about the chess player, Kirsan. Um, we'll just say his name is Kirsan, and you can read his last name and figure out how, how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, let's look up Ariana. Um, mm, 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 that's a good subject to study here, figure out why. Let's see. Mm-mm. Huffington Post, owner. What the fuck is Verizon Media? That's some stupid fucking bullshit. Verizon's fucking stupid. No shout outs to Verizon. Um, dude, they're assholes. Most of the telecoms are fucking pieces of garbage, dude. Um, I'm just being honest, dude. They're fucking, they're jakes, and they, they fuck with people hard, and they do a bunch of bullshit, and their products and their services fucking suck. I don't have anything good to say about faulty telecoms, any of them, none of them. Fuck them all. Um, it says right here, on February 7, um, so 7 February 2011, AOL acquired the Huffington Post for U.S. $315 million. Weird Mandela effect. Making Ariana Huffington editor-in-chief of the yeah, yeah, okay, so she is edited. Okay, all right. Um, all right, <clears throat> and I did say Ariana, right? So, um, Ariana Huffington. Oh, According she- to Wikipedia, Ariana Stasinopoulos Huffington is a Greek-American author, syndicated columnist, and businesswoman. I mean, this is, she's got a good look, man. Like, she she looks fresh, you know what I mean? Like, she's got a good appearance and everything. She's kind of got that whole um, Martha Stewart thing going on, you know? Look, I'm just saying, Martha Stewart looks good. Um, and uh, I'm assuming she's rich as fuck. And, dude, she's fucking 68 years old. She's married to Michael Huffington. Says, um... Michael was born in 1986. Damn, that nigga's young as shit. But that's cool. They're hooked up. They're married and shit. I'm assuming they're both rich as totally fuck. Um, But let's find out why she became liberal, which isn't cool in my book. Hold on. Ariana Huffington used to be Republican conservative. Why did... Okay, so then it comes up. Quora, right here. Quote, why did Ariana Huffington go from being a conservative to, let's click on the link, come on, do it with me, um, why did Ariana, again from Quora, why did Ariana Huffington go from being a conservative to a liberal, that's what I'm trying to figure out, she shouldn't have, that was stupid, just being honest, uh, let's see, what is this, okay, then someone down here, Greg Bassa, says that she's a California Republican. Funny thing about them. Blah, 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 blah. How we doing? originally made the jump. Oh, okay. So according to this person answering on Quora, she did it to endorse fucking Kerry in 2004. Now, I don't know if that's true and that's why she did, but that was dumb. Um, John Kerry's fucking stupid. He's an asshole. Um, you know, no shout outs to John fucking Kerry, dude. Over there in Iran, fucking trying to give like the Iranians, in my opinion nuclear fissile, like, atom bombs and shit, materials, it's like, why, dude, what, why, why does this bouffant hair motherfucker, okay, he looks like a fake Kennedy, why does this dude, why is he, like, in Iran with the dick-sucking fucking moolahs and I have fucking dick-sucking tolas, why is he over there, like, like, you know, being a fucking asshole, like, buttering up to a rogue fucking nation. Like, what's his big trip? Like, that dude... Like, John Kerry is a despicable man, in my opinion. I mean, dude, like... what? Is, I mean, man, like, I know some people who are fucking stupid assholes, okay? And, you know, in every city, every town, like... You know, I went to school with some people, man, that were hella cool. And then I know some people that are just like, they're just fucking stupid. And it's like this guy, you know, he probably hates America, pretends to love America, but he really secretly fucking hates America. And then he wants for Iran 
to like do a nuclear deal. It's like, fuck you, man. Why? Why do you want for some, some, some pieces of shits, all right, who hate Israel, you fucking asshole motherfucker. Why do you want to assist them? Why do you want to assist people who hate Israel, you fucking son of a bitch? You know, I'm Judeo-Christian. They don't like my God and they don't like Israel in America. So what the fuck are you doing doing business with some fucking enemies like that of mine and ours? Oh, that's right. That's right. You're a fucking piece of shit too. Fucking sell out to America. There's no excuse. There's no legitimate fucking reason. You just, for whatever reason in your, in your book, you decided to fucking warm up to enemies of America and, and you're not fucking cool in my book as a result of that. God, man. God, man, this motherfucker got me started. Ooh, shit. I need to fucking calm down, man, for real. So anyway, started with Shostakovich. Shostakovich. You hear his name pronounced many different ways. And so I just kind of play around with it. Um, maybe that's why, because I like classical music and then I hear his name and then like, it's pronounced differently depending on who pronounces it. And it's probably just because it's like, I've been saying it over and over again in my mind, just kind of like playing around with his name. And then I was like, yo, let me just look him up. Let me see what his face looks like. So I did. And I was like, oh, he looks quite studious. <clears throat> and then from that chain of information, I was reminded of another studious individual who's a chess player. And uh, he says that he was abducted. Well, not abducted, but they took him up in the saucer because they wanted to play. They were like, yo, this guy knows how to play chess. And apparently, if it's the same chess player, I, I'm sure this has happened with other chess players. Um, but <clears throat> maybe not. But at any rate, the story that I heard, and it wasn't what I just read just now because I didn't really like take the time to read it. Because I'm like, you know, I'm just going to like cite it, but I'm not going to like get too deep into it. And if you want, you can look up the article like I just pointed you to. Shout outs to whoever fucking wrote that article. Um, if you want to follow that link and like see what I read and have been seeing, some chess player, I assume it's him. Don't quote me on that. Some chess player claims that he went up in a, in a craft and he spent the day, it's got to be him, playing chess with aliens. And then at some point, the aliens revealed to him, <clears throat> they're like, yo, check game. So you know how we had you up here playing chess. You're a master chess player, man. And it's fucking dope that you're playing chess with us and shit, you know? Sorry to like, you know, sorry to like kind of like whisk you away and bring you up in this craft. But, you know, we'll take care of you. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll take you back. Um, They're like, by the way, we created chess. And he was like, what? And they're like, yup, we did it. <laughs> it's us. So, yeah, that's weird, right? But maybe some of y'all knew that. I'm guessing 99% of the audience knew that, right? Everyone mostly knew that story. <laughs> You're like, come on, bro. I don't know, dude. I heard that shit like a few years ago and I was like, wow. I mean, I know it happened. I mean, who the fuck makes up a story like that? First of all, the dude's a master chess player. 85% of people on earth know they believe that aliens are among us. I mean, we all know that shit. It's fucking obvious. And then 15% are in denial. And we know they know it too, but they're just pretending like they don't. And so they don't want to be seen. They're like hidden because, you know, humans probably like are weird and like stink or something and have like germs. But they feel bad for us because of the stupid shit we do. Um, But like most humans know that aliens exist. So why would a master chess player, someone with such an incredible fucking mind, he's obviously not mentally ill. He's obviously not an insane person. He's obviously not someone who's going to make up some story for fucking attention. Dude, he was kidnapped by... Well, okay, there I go saying it again. He was taken, okay, taken, because I believe they what they were doing was benevolent. They watch it. They're watchers, you know? They're just looking over, you know, seeing what's up. And they're like, oh, look at this nigga. He plays chess on a master fucking world class level. And they, like you know, saw him in hyperspace and they're like, Oh, look at him. Look at him play. Huh? Fascinating. We need to play with him because we created this game and he's fucking one of the best. So 
it was a treat, you know? They were trying to treat him to a day and on the fucking, on the, on the spacecraft, man. On the, on the flying saucer. And I'm sure it was fun, you know? I mean, if you go to space, dude, and you're perfectly safe. And, like, they probably gave him some treats, like, you know what I mean? I don't know what he ate or drank, but I'm sure it was tasty, you know? And, I mean, they're aliens, so whatever they gave him is probably healthy. Hopefully they, like, you know, tweaked his body a little bit to make sure that he's, like, you know, healthy and everything. And they brought him back to Earth, you know? <laughs> so that's cool. Um, but yeah, man, it's raining today, which kind of fucking sucks. Good thing is, is it's not like super rain. I said super rain. It's just not like torrential downpour. So that's all right. Sky's like a light, happy. It's not like a, it's not the dreary, like mi- miserable, um, rain down uh, pour. Nah, man, it's just God, you know, it's just the machine cleansing itself, just cleaning and you know, so that's cool. Sky's all, all like, like, like one sheet of like happy, like, like not even really gray. It's just kind of like, like a void, like white, you know, just the supercomputer making sure everything's clean and cleansed up. God bless us, man, and the world and like, you know, America and our allies, man. I mean, Jesus, this system is incredible. And, uh, all the green and like, all the like, all the like cleansing, like water and shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just miraculous, dude, how everything is built and designed. Motherfuckers who think this shit is random, they're funny and weird. I mean, you know, I feel bad for them on one hand, but they're also pretty kind of stupid on the other hand because, dude, there's no way this shit could be fucking random. There is no way just got to think on deeper levels of reality and it will be revealed. I'm your boy, Once or Grove, OSGOE. Thanks for tuning in.